The Bible says you ask and you are not given and because you ask the wrong. And in our emotions, look at that. But when God looks at us, he sees a different level where he wants to take us. Because religions have taught us for long, they lied to us for a lot of things. And we could also lie to them that I will have accepted. They read a scripture but couldn't understand what the scripture says. They say they are lucky, the poor people, because they are the ones who will seek the Lord. They say for a rich person to go to heaven, it's, Abano, not, it's like taking a donkey. And people think that to be righteousness you must have nothing. That question Peter asked Jesus it wasn't a question of spiritual pride. It was a question of people who fight for their goals. He found Jesus and said we left our things and followed you. It's been three years and six months you haven't been paying us our salary. And in those days for Peter to think like that they have been caught them for taxes they say why would you walk without paying the taxes of Caesar when Jesus checked his pockets he had nothing then he asked Peter do you have something Peter says I also do not have something he said but where you were fishing there is a one that have money and that one would recognize you I want to explain Peter, this. Peter he had a profession that could bring something that would solve the problem they had. Jesus said go down to the sea go and fish a fish and open its mouth you will find money and then you pay the taxes and you pay the taxes for me as well. Why didn't Jesus call for money in other people who were around? Tell your neighbor that you can never, there is for a blessing. There are some people who praise God. Asking God for a blessing. Asking, praying a lot, asking for blessing. You have to, you have to work for blessing, praying a lot brings intimacy with God. When Peter thought about it, he said they are always going to be catching us all the time. How are we going to do it? He, fo he found Jesus at night. And in those days, Jesus had spent the whole day teaching. And then in the evening, there come 5,000 people. When he fed 5,000 people, in the villages, people spoke about that we saw someone who is a good preacher and he feeds people. And then early in the morning they found Jesus crossed the sea. The Bible said they found him across the sea. They said, teacher, we've been looking for you the whole day. He said, is it me you were looking for or you were looking for the brain? They confused him and said, we want to hear from your word. He began to preach them. For those who came by then, who were they were asking that you say he feeds people now but which kind? that don't worry he does it when he's setting at the set of the sun then he asked how many of you that are hungry they all lifted up their hands then he said I am the bread that comes from the Lord. whoever eats on me will never be hungry again the Bible says those men turned their back and went away and then there remained a few men. They say if he didn't give us a drink, probably he would have He said those who have thirsty. The Bible says he wasn't supposed to be told about people because he himself, he knew the people. He said I'm the source of water that is. If someone drinks on me, he will never be thirsty again. The Bible says all of them thank God. Jesus asked Peter. Hey, hallelujah. hallelujah. He said, do you want to go like the same way others went? And Peter 
the answer from Peter there was no discipline. Yakoze imibare avuga ati ariko mwamagana abagabo bibo barenga ibumbe 20 bigendeye bafite roshike ibi bintu turimo nibiki. He did math and said 20,000 men have went away and they have logic. Kwa kuva aho tukajya hi. He said that where else would we Do you know what that means? Ninga we yakamubwiye ngo iyo haha abatu batugiye yo. If it's like he was saying that if you were not here we would have gone tuli, as well. Now what are we doing with you here? Abantu twarobanaga bamaze gutera imbere. Or the people we are fishing together have tuli, already tuli, been tuli, 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 tuli. We only walk with you Kwa, in the mountains. Ya. Now where else would we go? Yandi magambo. In other words if he was there we would have gone. They say, we, there is nothing else we are watching, we are getting from you. It's only words. In the evening, Peter went to Jesus. He said, I thought about it clearly. You know, we met when I had a boat. I fished and got money. I was selling fishes. And now I have followed you. Now what are you going to compensate? In other words, if you do not have an answer, please tell me something. He said, I will give you eternal life, but even in the world, I will multiply your wishes a hundred times. Ask your left and right neighbor, are you ready to give me the secrets? In this evening, I'm going to give you the secrets and mysteries. How many of you who are ready to get one hundred times full? Those of you who are ready to get one hundred times full, if you want to be rich, put your hands together for Jesus. Hey, you are ready to get one hundred times full. Uh, I want to tell you seven ways of getting rich. Probably you can call it principles. You may call it steps. But I know you're going to feel good about it. Psalms 24 verse 1. It is written that the world and everything in it belongs to the Lord. And those who belong in the world and everything in the world belongs to the Lord. Now why is it yours and you do not possess it? You probably don't know that you are allowed to have it. Or probably you are satisfied with the life you have. Because the Lord cannot place you in the life you didn't choose. The Bible speaks about uh, a bad boy. He took his belongings and went away. He chose to go and look after the peace. The life you choose. That's where God blesses you from. Now the level of your thoughts. That's the measurement of where the Lord will bless you. If you you think of small things. God does small things. The Bible says to the powerful ones, he manifests as a powerful God. And to the weaker, God manifests as a weaker God. And to a foolish person, God looks as a weaker God. But to a wise person, God shows his wisdom. Ask your neighbor, which level do you want to handle? Ask your neighbor, which level do you want to stand on? There are some people who are just there that I'll be rich. I'll be a great person. They began in 2000 Now it's been 23 years. They began in January to think about that. Now it's in December. You need to do something. The first way is to receive Jesus Christ as your Savior. Colossians. It is written that inside him is, is where all the richness and all the mysteries have been hidden. Peter told the Colossians that so your lives are hidden in Christ and they are hidden in Christ with God in heaven. Because your lives are hidden in Christ to Christ and then they have to get through the Lord first because you are hidden in Christ and then you are hidden in God. It means nobody can die twice. You have died with Christ and you resurrected with Christ. Nobody can die twice. You are hidden in the mysteries of the Lord. 
The Bible says he made you alive with Christ and then he lifted you up and you were seated with God in a God's way. An ambassador doesn't live off of the country they are serving. They live off of the country they came from. People have been saying that we have been missing money. Money is not missing because we haven't been missing money because we are not from this country. We are from the country from heaven. I want to remind you that there is no no tangible things in heaven. There is only grace. Everything like material things are in your But the power to meet those things so that you will you will recognize the things and the things will cognize you. That's what you're going to learn about right now. You will hear people saying that things have been very difficult. Now, how is it not going to be difficult? Because you are living there. You are a guest from that place. How can it be so easy to you? Yes, Jesus said, I give you authority. When someone receives Jesus, they are born again. The Bible says in the past, it is over. Why people have been looking themselves in the past? They are not in Christ. They are on Christ. There is being in and being on. Now listen to the Bible. It says all of those who have accepted him and believed his name. He, he has given them the authority to become if someone looked at you standing here they might think that you, you are a member of Elayon because you are standing here but in the books they do not know you we have some people who have followed Jesus but they did not follow Jesus as a king. Those are the laws who picked up leftovers when we have people. They are those who pray and say, if this year ends without getting married, I'll know that you're not good. These are those people who give God deadlines and say, I'm coming if you do not do it. What was difficult when you <laughs> expect thousand people is to make them sit. Listen to me, say hallelujah. Five thousand people without women and children. And to a place where there is five thousand men. Imagine how many children it is. They had five braids and two fishes. And then sell them. Please make them sit. It is five. When people did math, they said it is impossible. Five fishes, two fishes, five braids, and five thousand people. That is impossible. He did the numbers and found that it was impossible. But Jesus had hidden something from behind and said that the power of making into Jesus. Whatever you are sitting, it doesn't matter because Jesus will break into many pieces and you will get your peace. Touch your neighbor and if Jesus has said it, everything will be fulfilled because everywhere you are, he can reach. He said, tell them to sit, it is enough. Where your sitting is not the problem because if God breaks into pieces, you will have your peace. Where you are sitting is not the problem because if God breaks into pieces, you will have your peace. There are some people who get their answers and they think that they are, the answers have been have been finished. But when Jesus breaks into pieces, everyone gets their peace. There are still many blessings. Behind. 
Uh, the problem isn't the fewness, all the little things that are available. The important thing is what Jesus will do. Touch the hand and say, you know you are in the hands of Jesus. He opened his fingers, his hands, and everything Jesus did do, did do for you in November, he can do it in December. If you believe in that, shout hallelujah. The problem isn't where you see. But my a problem is not where oh, yes, you are. But did Jesus say you sit or oh, you're just there? A random person says is there of sitting on the cook pot you would rather sit where with the oven and the when you are against in another yeah. and the owner of the house tells you that you will eat the problem as long as the owner tells you you will eat you have no problem because you know you will eat recently I told Jesus that your value is Jesus who is in you touch three people and tell them that my value is it doesn't matter if you are tall you probably are actually maybe you are not fun or not those who are in Jesus they will never be condemned those who are saved willingly. And then salvation feels so sweet to you. Please stand up and shout three hallelujah to thank the Lord. Hey. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't, you didn't understand quite well what I'm saying. The reason why having Jesus you take it as simple is because it was for free. Everything you didn't you didn't put a price on it. If you do not think that it is expensive, you think that it doesn't have any value. But there is a very big, a huge price that was given for you to have an identity. Receiving Jesus is the first principle. Let's run faster in the history of this lady. That's where we'll get the seven words I want to tell you. There is only six remaining. Uh, by the time of a uh, prophet Elijah, by then Jezebel was, was looking for Elijah. This man called Obadiah hid the people of God. And then he would feed them. Because he had a job at the kingdom. Now when Jezebel was looking for prophets. Obadiah hidden them in the caves. And he would bring food to them. And he would help them in different ways. And now the time came and this man died. He died with a date. There is a place he didn't pay his date. Amen. 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 And then so you see this way people begin to forget that someone someone have died. He had left two, two sons. And then the one came. He told the woman, I want you to pay me back. The woman said, I do not have anything. Anything. If you do not have anything then, tomorrow morning, I will come and take your sons. They should be slaves. They should be my servants. All of their lives. It will be equal to the loan or the debt you have for me. The lady couldn't do anything else. He went to look for the man of God, Elisha. He said, before my husband died, he served the Lord. Amen. Amen. The first word you must recognize here, how you think is how you are. Nobody is greater than the other. A person only has greater thoughts than another. This lady told the debt collector. There is another way I'm going to use. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You just go and come back tomorrow. And be allowed. Now he sent the thoughts to Elisha. He said, even though Elisha couldn't give me money, but I know the anointing on him. 
and he have eaten our food. My husband worked for him. He has to pay. Let me go and find him. Probably he doesn't remember. But he cannot he cannot forget my husband. I want you to send your thoughts to look for an answer while the world Say hallelujah. hallelujah. Praying. It's not telling God the problems you have. No way. Because when you pray and tell God your problems, when it happens, you see what we call the power of God. But when you pray knowing very well that God knows, it doesn't need you to see the power of God. Instead, you are in the power of God. Because you have an intimacy with God. Because the Lord didn't tell the mountain that you mountain. Instead, God tell the mountain that what do you call yourself in front of my servant the I want you to listen to the different prayers of people. There are some people who go before God. They tell God, I beg you, I ask you. And there are those who sneeze and in the world they say, bless you because they know those people particularly. He said, my husband has died. But he respected, he obeyed God. Now they are going to take my kids into slavery. Tell your neighbor that have broad thoughts. Those who accept that their God is almighty, please say amen. Uh, people can be capable of a few things. And they can be capable of small things. But there is no human being who is capable of all of the things that this God of God. He's called Jehovah El Shaddai. Which means his almighty God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It is a mistake to first asking for a visa. That is a very big mistake. Fasting, asking for a capital. You would rather fast to ask to, to get a collateral to go to the bank. Fasting to get a husband. Those things have been given, but choosing the husband is the problem you have. A singer have said that the blessings that are in the Lord, we've, got, we've been given those blessings for the grace of God. How can you ask for something that you've been given? We have those things already. It's been 2023 years in the heaven giving you a visa. Go in all of the nations. Did they remove any country? In the nations, all of nations. Tell your neighbor you've you've been having your visa for long. You don't you didn't know. You will come from Jerusalem, Samaria, and go to the end of the world. The problem, that realm, does it know that you've been given? Paul told the Galatians. He said, when someone is still young, there is no different from a duck. They have little, little numbers of chances of choosing. A young kid like that one. Every clothes he has is what they bought for him. But their servant is the one who chooses what he wants. But the servant isn't the one who bought it. But because that kid is still like a duck, he has little chances of choosing. There is another one who is watching out for him. I will remove you from the hands of other people. Shout hallelujah! Amen. 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 Do you know when Peter resurrected Dorcas? At first, he 
he went away from the people. Why did we why did he get a private place from the people? People from Joppa didn't, didn't believe that someone can rise again. If you want to do great things, go with the people whom you have the same revelations. People who you have the same dreams. Because when you're working with people in chaos, most of them, they are, they are tired of what you're trying to do. All the time they have the news that it will be impossible for you to. Because when people are seeing where you're going, most of the time they fight against you so that you leave the place and they stand in your place. If they did not reach to your place, they will they backslide you so that you find them where they are. When you do a mistake and I brought you back and you backslide and go to their place, to their level, you have the same shame that you failed. All of you failed. Tell your right neighbor and your left neighbor that God wants you to do what was impossible to others. Me and others are different. Me and others don't be like others, just be you. Put your hands together for God. There is no other sujira. There is no other you. Amen. Amen. Why do you want to be like others? Why do you want to do what others are doing? If God says, looked that he didn't need you, you would have died at the same time. You have died at the same time. You would have died at the same time. You would have died at the same time. God would have called in Paul's time. Put your hands together. You are in your own time. God of those people will never be your God. There are some people who pray. And they are asking for things people are supposed to be doing for them. You ask what, what people cannot do for you. What is impossible to you? Because our God is a God of impossibilities. Everything that is possible is done by human beings. God only does the impossibilities in the faultful way. Even the anointing goes up, is lit, exalts because of how you think. There are some things God cannot use you of because of the power of your mind. There is a level, a level you cannot reach before your thoughts leave in that level. I want to you to set your mind or to send your thoughts in the future and then your thoughts should speak to the future and tell the future how you want to be. Is there somebody who feels that they reach far and you clap your hands for the Lord? Let me tell you the reason you reach far. It's because where you are today, you didn't know you were going to be here. The power that brought you from the place you came from. It is the same power that will push you and take you to, the set, to another that place. That will be designated by you. The way you think about it. You know a servant from Naman's place. He was just a housemaid to the house of Naaman. But he had the answer of the commander. The problem isn't where you are today. The value is the richness of the Lord in you. Do not ever despise again because I'm a very valued person. I want to tell you that approving yourself is not a sin. Pride is not a sin. Approving, approving yourself is not a sin. A sin is proudness. If approvedness is a sin, it was begun by Jesus because Jesus said, my, my father works and I work as well. Another day he showed proofness is that Father, I'm doing it for these people, but I know you are doing it for us. Shake me the hand. 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 I repeat this. I 
Approving yourself is not a sin. A sin is proud. For you to know that God accepts and proves himself, he told Moses that go in front of Pharaoh and tell that I, I live and I will live for you. Hallelujah. Go 
ugiye gukina mu gice cya kabiri igice cya mbere cyaranze hari urundi ruhande you are going to play in the second meter the first meter couldn't work but you are going to play bari bari kinye visa ngo usubire yo they denied you a visa go back again wara tsinzwe kuri permit ngo usubire yo you failed your driving license go back again wara bakomanu barindwi ubabwira ngo imana irabinyemereye ibyo ari wara sabye ibyo wasengeye ipaya sabadomene Imani ile kumbwira ngo ara masengesho wasenze ni yakora muri cyagi ugira ngo Imani nti yayumvise ayo masengesho agiye gukora muri mugoro There are some prayers you pray and you thought God did here but those prayers are going to work this evening Ibintu uyu mugabo yari yarakoze nabwo babyibyo ukiye kukiriyo nta numuntu wabimuhembeye kuyesha abahanuzi ariko yarapfuye atagihari bisigara bikora amasengesho wibuka nayo utibuka ibyo wakoze wibuka nibyo wibagiwe bigiye gukora muri uyu mugoro aba mwize na ryaje Everything they did remember this man had died they did remember it on the funeral or anywhere else But when he had died God remembered and received that conversation. That is the prophecy of this God is Sarabosata. Hallelujah. Isaiah mirongo 63. Isaiah chapter 60. Urongo wa 20. Verse 20. Dusome mu izina rya Yesu. Izuba ryawe ntirizarenga ukundi. Kandi ukwezi kwawe ni kuzijima. Kuko uteka ari we uzakubera umucyo uhoraho. Niminsi yawe yo kuboroga izabishize. Amen. Amerika <laughs> This lady he had a bowl and a few oil Some people look at you because of whatever happened to you. and they think the Lord have abandoned you They think you, do, you are not anointed But let me tell you something Let me tell you something Every saucepan that cooked oil Even though you could wash it with big 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 pots. you cannot cook what drinking water in that saucepan whatever it is the oil comes up and then the saucepan tells you that i once had oil in me the Lord is going to bring back your seasons even though this lady had nothing but he had a bowl ask your neighbor that which talent do you feel you have so that the lord will bless you 
serious. You must be having a bold. Ask your neighbor which bold you have. Do you want to go into business? I give you money. Do you want to be a businesswoman so we can ask a capital for you? Are you academically? We ask an office for you. Where you want is where I'm going to take you. Hallelujah. Touch your neighbor that where do you want the Lord to bless you from? Where is Elisa, he going to begin Elisa from? Elisha asked this lady, what does she want so that I can bless you? <laughs> Hey, the servants of God here, please stand up and shout hallelujah. May God connect you to your realms. God is going to connect you to other people. Whoever wants your blessing, you only need to have a boat. Meet him in this week, meet him the next week. People who are confident that the next week is new to them, put your hands together for Jesus. What you have been missing for long, you are going to meet him. And the people you looked for, I miss them, they are going to find you in the name of Jesus. And what God is going to use, it is not far from you. It wasn't needed yet. There is no other gift or talent God is going to give you. He's going to, to bless the talents you have today. You know, in the wedding from Cana, when Jesus, when Jesus multiplied wine, they had. They were pots they have thrown but away. They were not using those pots. It's been eight years since they've thrown those pots away. Those are the ones Jesus said, please go and fetch water in those pots. And when they drank on that way, it was sweeter than the first one. I feel like prophecy is catching me. Listen to me. Carefully. There is a place where people throw you. But Jesus still knows your usefulness. You haven't understood me. There is there is a place where your family throws you out. There is a place where your friends throw you. You are a pot that is useless. But if Jesus needs you in this month, you are going to be used greatness of the Lord. Second word. When they drank the wine, pot, it was sweeter than the first wine. Tell your neighbor. God is going to give you a sweeter life. Your household will be sweeter. Your business will be sweeter. Your bed will be sweeter. Your salon will be sweeter. Your territory will be sweeter. Hey! I'm going to connect you to your Elijah. This lady only needed Elisha. He had a bowl and a, and a little oil. It won't take the Lord to begin on bread things. God is only going to begin on something you have. God is going to bless you and increase your blessing. You'll be a blessing. Tell your neighbor, where do you want the Lord to bless you from? Amen. Amen. There are some people who pray, but they do not have something where the Lord will be given. You are asking God for a car. Well, how are you going to drive that car? You have a car. You have a car. At least if you do not have a driving license, go and learn to drive. Tell your neighbor that this is hey. do your part and the Lord will do his part. God will give you a wife. Have you ever asked any lady for a God will give you a wife. Have you ever asked any lady for a date? Who asked you that from heaven they will, they will date for you? Go and tell God how the progress is. Tell God that I want things to go this way. If we are in him and he's enough, you want to go in business. Go and look for a place. And tell God that I have visited my place. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I'm preparing you in a while our prophet will be here. 
Because when you are going to learn about these things, we connect it with prayers. I want you to I want to charge you so that you become full and you become confident. Hallelujah. 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 One man taught us about faith. He taught us the whole night. And then a rat would cross on the roof like coming coming and forth. A lady from where we are praying from, he was so, she was so scared of rats. And then the rat would go back and forth. And one would say that Jesus after the man looked that the rat was disconnecting him he said I'm going to test this power of faith on this rat and then he pointed the rat and said I kill you you rat and then the rat fell and died I'm going to also to, to measure the power of resurrection and then he pointed the rat and said you rat I raise you again and then the rat shook and then woke up again there come a spiritual voice the power that kills a rat and rose it is the same power that can resurrect the power that gave you salvation the power that gave you a house the power that brought you to Kikari the power that put you into the world it is the same power that will take you to some place as you are neighbor that have something ever accepted into your life there are, some, there are probably something that has happened in but is there something that happened in your life we are going to base on that and we tell God that you who did not you who protected you me who you who covered you in the you who fed you in the you who have been with you in the you 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 Please have faith in him again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Think well. He said, Go and close yourself into the house. And all of your children. Just close the doors inside. Do you know what it means to go inside your house and close the doors? Ask your neighbor, you need to be how to be decisive. Be decisive. There are some people who are just there. They go to the meetings even. When they say, What do you say about this issue? They say, What others have said, nothing more. You are telling the people who is leading the meeting that please do not give me anything to say again because I work on others. Even though what you are supposed to say, they have said it. Please make a foundation for it again so that they should know that you were present. Try and manifest and be visible. Shout hallelujah if you understand the same. There are some people who are just there and they go on others' decisions. That how you see me, that's what I deserve. What they said, I understand the same way. You know how to be decisive. You should know how to be decisive. Tell your neighbor that you should make some decisions this week. If you're someone who takes decisions and say, I want this one, this one I do not want. Amen. Amen. Learn how to make decisions. There is a life you join and then you are supposed to make choices and decisions. This this lady was supposed to make this problem her own. That's the reason why she was supposed to go in the house and close the house with her kids alone. This other this again teaches you to find God you yourself there are some people who are living by the prayers of others 
praying for you is good. But those who pray for you remember that they have their issues to pray for. And the cloth that was closing the holy place of the holy it was cut in two two so that we could also reach the place. Those who can pray for you is fine they can pray for you but your voice can reach the place as well. Ask your neighbor are you going to be a decisive person? Please begin and be, begin to make some decisions. There is a life you cannot leave behind until you make a decision and say, I'm tired of this life, I'm going to this life. He said, Go and borrow vessels from your neighbors. Ask your neighbor and tell them you need someone in your life. I want to let you know that nothing the Lord will do without people included. And there is nobody who comes into your life without any usefulness. There are probably some things you are capable of, she's not capable of, and they are capable of something you are not capable of. People join each other, they join hands to together. A Rwandan said that two, two are greater than one. The Bible says a human being needs another human being. There are some people Jesus needed in the ministry for the ministry to go on. People do some things. The Holy Spirit is the only one who can do all of things at once. You may have anointing but without money. And another have money but they do not have anointing. They need you but you also need them. Amen. Amen. There are some people who think they know they only need people who are on the same level with them. Having a car is one. But having a mechanic is, same, is another thing. And that mechanic, that mechanic has a part on your car even though he didn't share the price. When he wants, he stays the whole night with your car. And whoever sees him in your car that day, they think they have their car. Even though you are a boss but you need a keeper and someone who opened the gate for you look at your neighbor and say you need your neighbor there are some people who think they are enough for themselves this lady needed the neighbors who, who she should have borrowed the vessel and she said if you borrow borrow everything why did she not why did he not tell her to borrow a few things? Elisha wanted to measure his his neighboring status. Because if her neighboring status wasn't good, they shouldn't have lent her their vessels. Those neighbors of viewers, those people you work together, they probably have some of your things but the way you live with them it may make your things late or faster someone who taught me to preach I don't know if I would say that he taught me but I was learning from them one day I prophesied we are together and then he slapped me and said how can the Lord speak to you while I'm here I, I say forgive me it's not God who told me he was about to kill me we were at Musanze in a congress you know in Adepel where there is big congregations and crusades they have an intercession Tujia. team that is intercessing for the congregation and then when we reached the place they took us into the, into the intercession team so that they could pray for us and then an old lady went into the spirit and prophesied and the other man were together I am the Lord your God let people who speak to God say amen those are the, hap the happiest moments they are religious people who say why do you like prophecy not loving prophecy would be a problem because our God speaks 
If I had a chance, they would prophesy to me every day. There are some people who made themselves like, like the particulars of the Lord that that one prophesies right, that one prophesies wrong. For prophecy to work for you, uh, the Bible says that to hold the good and let you walk the past. Even though the, it's not God who tell them as long as they are wishing it for you, it's enough. It, Another thing, if they say it's in the name of the Lord, accept it unless they say it's in their name. God said, I have given you my word. And it is I who called you. I will use you on this mountain. You understand I have prepared the congregation for that but man. Then they took us to the hotel. When we are outside of the crusade, they said, now then, you will preach for 20 minutes and then you receive the man of the Lord. There is a chance that people are going to give you as though they are joking. There are thinking they are talking. Hey! This, is a, this is a prophecy of older people you have not understood. Be ready someone is going to throw you into the pool. Somebody put their hand for Jesus. They gave me 20 minutes thinking that they were joking and they wanted me to put people together. And now God gave me a powerful word. You see people from the, from the eastern uh, they are not familiar with hypocrisy. When they like you, they say it and when they dislike you, they say it as well. When you're going to preach from those places, for them to know, for you to know that they have liked you is they stay to the place where you are. Then in the evening where we went where they were going to receive us, there came people from the committee of the church. They told the, 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 the chef but you know we are all the people we know how to listen to the word of God we want you to let this man go because he has a lot of work to do but we want this young boy to stay here because his word made sense Remember, he slapped me that how can the Lord speak to me while he's, away, while he's present? The reason why you are in the same level, you took long with the people who are confused about you. They didn't know who you were. God is going to connect you with the people who, who knows you. When Mary went to visit Elizabeth, the Bible said they hugged and then the children greet each other. John knows Jesus. Say amen so I can tell you something. Because John was supposed to baptize Jesus. He wouldn't have baptized him while he was baptized. That hug where the kids greet each other. That was the baptism of John. So that he could go and prepare for Jesus. I want to, to I do not want to tell you how they recognize Jesus. But what Elizabeth did. She said what do I do? The mother of my king have visited me. Remember Mary was in exile hiding herself so that people want to know that she no, is now she there is some people God remained behind who will know the thing of the Lord that is hidden in you and then the anointing was filled after it was filled and then the lady went back to Elisha and told him because this lady didn't have the abilities to manage this miracle she came and said there is a lot of oil all the vessels are full of oil say, go and sell that vessels and that oil I want to take you to the mountain of business go and sell this oil and pay off your debt 
and the remaining oil it should be something that will give you life with your kids some people think that asking for a loan is a sin no it's not the bible accepts that he said go and sell that oil pay off your debt and the remaining oil it will make you move with your life. Telling her that the remaining oil it will not be eaten. Take it in two business, sell it and have some profits. Do you know after Jesus fed 5,000 people they ate and they were full. They began to step on the leftovers. He said please bring the baskets. Please save the leftovers. Tomorrow it won't happen again. They picked up 12 baskets. And then the disciples remained eating those leftovers for days. There are some people who get blessings but they fail to manage. Because the miracle happened. And they buy things that are unnecessary. That's the reason why Randan said that getting in a market fast is not, does not mean that you are your neighbor. Buy. Sometimes you go to the market buy shoes and then they make a mistake of passing by the place where they sell <laughs> the When they buy a watch at home they had another watch. And then they do not have shoes and the money is over on the watch. That's how the, ble the same blessing that God God we have to be to be ready for how we are going to use it so that we can be rich and more. Say amen. He said the remaining oil please make some profits of it so that it will be something you live off with your kids. What the man was supposed to be doing he should remain doing it in this miracle. That's the reason why that having a project is good. If God would give me this what would I do? there are some people God would give money now and they become confused because they didn't prepare what they would do in that money ask your neighbor are you ready hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. Because this man of God had richness that can make this lady live and pay off her debt. But the lady is the one who has the ability of how he has of how she has to behave in this miracle. Hallelujah. 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 Now, now my conclusion connect with someone who have what you, do know, what, what you have been missing. As your neighbor, there are some people who, who went beyond the level you are standing on today. We have people who are on three different levels. There are some people who think what is below what we think. And there are some who we have the same thoughts. Others think more than we do. For the, who are those that we need then? Those who think more than we do. Hallelujah. 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 If you follow the news of this Shunem lady, she was a rich lady, but she had a problem. The Bible says she had she has no son. When she looked at Elisha, she saw the ability that would give her what she wasn't having. And then she did all the things she was supposed to do as you know, until the time they gave her what she didn't have. Every level you want to stand on. There are other people who are standing on that level. For you to reach to those people, you must work for that. Amen. 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 It doesn't come just like that. You would spend a year looking for someone and not reach them. But if you do something, you would meet at the same night. To a place where Jesus was preaching from. There came a prostitute who called Mary Madeline. That he was preaching in the house of Simon. Then she went through a lot of people having oil. She pulled the oil on Jesus. The feeble people who 
who do, who, do not, who doesn't know how to connect they said why are you, why are you putting the, why are you why are you wasting your oil i want you to listen to these thoughts they are king whom they come to listen to while he's preaching people have offered what is valuable but the disciples they said it is being wasteless let's leave that behind of wasting oil they say even the one who is doing it is a pagan you know she's a prostitute jesus replied to them the thirdly said at least bring it let's put it on the market and help the poor people Jesus said that you stay with the poor people forever. you are thought itself are poor because you do not know what this lady did he said wherever they will gather speaking my name they will speak about this lady why because he got revelation that Jesus was a king and he offered valuable things to him. The wise people knew that Jesus had been born. They went to offer an offering of connecting their lives to Jesus. When you want money, you offer money. When you want anointing, I'll also tell you how you get that. If you want to pray like prophet, you should look for a way how you should spend time with him. You'll become like him. But if you want to drive a car like prophet's car, you should offer an offer of that realm you haven't understood you, can, you cannot reach on the level you want to reach on without knowing the cost of that level all of those the, all of these great people you are seeing they have spent nights and days working for these things you cannot get it for free there is something you must do to get on their level I've been I read the Bible two times and and finished reading. The, all the scriptures I know, you're not just coming like that in one minute and know all the scriptures I know. They read the Bible 366 days, reading a page every day. If you want to know the scriptures, don't read jumping the pages. Just sit down, sit still, read a page to page, then you know the scriptures. If you want to know how to prophesy, you have to take long time with prophets. Amen. Amen. How many of you who needs the word? You need to read the Bible. You cannot be a great preacher without reading the word of God. There is someone who only have like three lines. I'll be an international preacher. They cannot they don't even know the difference between John the Baptist and John the preacher. Probably you can you can lead the intercessor because you can you know take time praying, but there are some things you must work for. There is a cost, there is time it takes for each level to reach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a level you want to stand on. You must connect to the people who are already on that level. There are some people who pray for you. But they cannot command for you. There are some people, there are some things that people complicate or confuse here. Nobody is allowed to bless you apart from someone who has been blessed to do that. But because we take the blessings as a usual thing, we always tell people that may God bless you. Thank you very much. May God bless you. There is a 
the people who are allowed to ask a blessing for you only by mouth they are only the priest people have been anointed to do that everyone else tell someone that god bless you and give them at least some friends <laughs> There are some people, people are singing here and people take some papers, you cut them in two pieces and you go, you throw at the singers that may God bless you that you are taking that anointing. That's a lie. You, you, you anointing should be bought, anointing should be paid for. Don't think of you sending flowers and doing, you are making money. Let's put our hands to God for the Lord. Say a powerful hallelujah. If there is a level you want to stand on, please work for that. There is a cost to everything. That please, please lay a hand on me and ask a word for me. For what? God told Moses that tell Aaron and his children that they once will be blessing people that may God do good to you, may God protect you. Everyone else apart from that, they are doing nothing. Only the priests and those who are anointed to do that should do that. <laughs> if you need the power to chase away demons, go to the mountains and pray for that anointing, you will get it. But if you need money, go to Remera, go to Jismet and everyone yes. else. Do business. Whatever. If you want, yes. if you want, if you want spiritual, yes. go to Masasu's place. You pray hard, you're getting the tongues. But if you want a husband, dress well, go on the roads, come to church, meet guys. Others. The Bible says you reap what you sow. I read the Bible. The Bible told me that training of the physical, the physical body is good, but training of the spiritual is good for even the future. You find someone at the hey. and say there is something the Lord have told me. Please leave that mountain and go put in action what the Lord have told me. Go to your neighbor that this is a week of beginning things. You just start and the Lord will be with you. God told Kura that you should go out, go before you, but you must start at, at, at first. You must begin and make your steps. Let's put our Trying. Listen to what the Bible says. The Bible says that the mercy and the goodness will come after you. Things cannot follow you while you're standing. You need to make your steps so that all the, all the people who have been bred in this world, they are the people who will begin things. The Bible says, even though your beginning could be small, but the end could be big. We began preaching while they were giving us five minutes, but now they are giving us hours. There is a time they won't be giving us time. We we'll only begun. We only need to do. 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 We only need to
for you to be rich you do not need investments of millions and millions money all you need to do is only the beginning even 1000 can bless you you need to connect yourself to the people who are in the, in the realm of where you want to be. the bible says God teaching Moses how to perform miracles Please connect to the people who have what you have. There are some people who know the codes of Turkey and the codes of China. You should connect yourself to those people so that you should know the way of that. I hope you are someone who have the password so that you can get your things. Put your hands together if you believe in connection. There are some people who knows and have what you need. You need to connect yourself to those people. This week you are going to do five things. First you are going to try and do things. What you thought it was very difficult. Please try it and learn about it. God will be with you. Secondly, you have to know how to make decisions. Please take decisions for yourself. Thirdly, what you have been asking God for, God has allowed it. Please go and put in action. To be rich, begin and sit where rich people sit, eat what rich people eat, drink what people rich people drink, and then you go become rich. Fifth, every hand that captivated you, God have said that those hands are going to release you. Begin and step and go into your destination. May God bless you. Thank you. May God do what is right. We had a chance. I have spoken a few I know the prophet of the Lord he has a lot to increase you know he is a man of principles he could charge us if he was speaking I called called him during the night he picked my call I told him you gave her three years but I have changed in my faith three years is a lot of years I'm giving myself only more in your dream I want to walk from what was far from you please be very near what is going to change you into a spiritual soul please allow me as we are going Jesus you may come forward in the name of Jesus we are going to shout seven hallelujah connect to seven new May God bless you. Thank you. Go, Sarah. Let's put our hands together for the servant of the Lord. This is great anointing. We 